Somewhere in my head, I'm still a white knight Flying across the plains into my last fight Somewhere in my head, I'm still a hero Work my way back up from pretty much nothing This is not that game with the bowling pins We used to just fight for our lives And if you die young and are born again Please tell someone why Oh, somewhere in my head I'm still a white knight Flying across the plains into my last fight Somewhere in my head I'm still a hero Work my way back up from pretty much nothing There's not much time, but I've got time To see you There's not much time, but I've got time In a different place or a different time It might just all work out With a different word or a different rhyme You might live at my house Say my final battle cry Because somewhere in my head I'm still a white knight Flying across the plains into my last fight Somewhere in my head I'm still a hero Work my way back up from pretty much nothing Somewhere in my head I'm still a white knight Flying across the plains into my last fight Somewhere in my head I'm still a hero Work my way back up from pretty much nothing Somewhere in my head I'm still a white knight Flying across the plains into my last fight Somewhere in my head I'm still a hero Work my way back up from pretty much nothing Somewhere in my head I'm still a white guy Flying across the plains into my last fight Somewhere in my head I'm still a hero Work my way back up from pretty much nothing Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we will go out to a section of the Tillamook National Forest and scout out some future campsites, share 5 more mods I've done to Dusty the Wrangler, and share some channel updates. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. So here's another cool little campsite, kind of by the water, though as you can see the water is a little further down. Beautiful site, well shaded, but kind of far from the water from what I can tell. It is nice to be kind of a little further away from the main road, but I don't know, I'm not really feeling it.
let's keep going. Alright guys, so here we are back at the Mark campsite earlier. I think this is pretty good for the most part. From what we've seen so far, um, this is the best site out of this location. As you can tell earlier, I did hit a pavement road. And when I was looking at the map, it looked like it was starting to go back towards town on the coastal city or the coastal town. So I didn't want to get out there. So backtracked, came back here, found this to be the most appropriate site. So now what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to settle in. And then after that, I'll give you a, a little update on what's going on with the mods. So announcements. Uh, if you tuned into a couple of videos back when we were at Albert Desert doing the meetup, I did kind of plug in a little subtle message saying that um, Katie is pregnant. We are expecting our second child and the due date is January 1st. Um, I held out on sharing the news until now just because I wanted to make sure the baby was healthy and everything was fine. Luckily, everything is. Uh, the baby is healthy, the size is proportionate, Katie is doing well. Just in case if you're wondering, oh, now with another baby, am I going to be too busy for YouTube? Well, that's the second part of the announcement, which is um, I am actually now doing YouTube full time. So I am dedicating a majority of my time now to YouTube. I understand that I am in an incredibly fortunate situation where I am able to uh, make a little bit of income out of YouTube. So as you guys know, I really love creating videos. I love creating content and sharing it with everybody. I love inspiring as much as I can for everyone else that's watching to go out and um, enjoy the outdoors. So with that said, I am not going to be absent from making content after the birth of the second child. Going into YouTube full time, there is going to be some changes, of course. Content, of course, is going to be at least one video a week. I am going to try to pump out maybe even more than one a week if I am able to. But with this newfound status, I, I realize that there's a lot more things I have to attend to and go to. Like I'm going to be going to more shows, more expos as well as more meetings. We'll see what, we're, what I can do as far as more than one video a week. So with that said, part three of the announcement is I am creating a Patreon account. Any kind of support is always appreciated and it's for even things like gas and fuel and things like that. As you know, um, it hasn't been cheap lately, but you know, we still want to push ourselves to get out there and where I usually need to go is not really close to home. Of course, this is not something that's required or I'm saying you really should feel obligated to do it, but people have messaged me and asked me if I do have a Patreon account so they could show support in any which way. So with this situation that I'm in now, I am going to create a Patreon account. And on top of that, I do want to make it beneficial to my followers and supporters. So with the Patreon, I am going to have certain benefits. So uh, once in a while, if I do create more swag or merchandise, Merchandise, like stickers, patches, and things like that. Patreon members will be the first and they will get, be guaranteed to receive those things. As well as I am transitioning my meetups. Usually what I'll do is I'll do an RSVP for my meetups just so that I can vet the people that want to attend and make it a safe environment for not just for myself but for the other attendees involved. But now with the amount of requests that I've gotten for the meetups and uh, things like that, I did decide to incorporate it into the Patreon benefit. So uh, for Patreons, I am going to have meetups in different parts of the country and another benefit for me going YouTube full time is that now I'm able to travel to different parts of the country to do meetups for trail runs and overland trips. Before what I used to do was have meetups in the Pacific Northwest or around that area but now I'm going to be able to spread out and go to different parts of the country to be able to do these meetups. For example like in March of 2023 I do plan to go to Death Valley to do a few trail runs and overland uh, meet up and camp out as well as well as I want to plan some parts of the Midwest and the East Coast as well. So those are some of the benefits that will come with Patreon and more to be announced. I would like to make sure that my supporters or loyal supporters who are supporters of the channel do benefit in return. So yeah so those are the major announcements. Aside from that uh, I do still have some mods that I have planned for the Jeep. Uh, for Dusty. For more real-time updates, of course, you can follow me on Instagram. But aside from that, I'm just gonna hang out and chill and enjoy the beautiful weather. And I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit.
All right, guys, so here's a quick update on what I did so far to the Jeep. So as you can see in the back, I added this uh, cargo rack or this tray. But there's definitely this area above that wasn't being used or the space that wasn't being used. It was not a bad install. It's pretty fairly simple. And I am currently carrying my inflator and my cap chair. Of course, that's going to change, but this is just like a trial run. And it comes with this little bungee net. So it was able to hold it down throughout the roads. As you can see, there's uh, just enough space for me to be able to put my feet through. I just got additional things like um, I got a down pants, down jacket, additional blanket, down blanket just in case if I need it. And then I, of course I could fill other things with it, but that's what I have right now. I'm not anticipating it to be too cold, but just in case if it does get that cold, I'll have that there. As you can see, you know, I got the deep sleep system and I have it inflated already. No need to inflate. Got my sleeping bag on there. Second mod I did was, was this vent visor. And this is a WeatherTech vent visor. And of course I have it in the front and rear windows. And the reason I got that is because of course in the Pacific Northwest it does rain a lot. And if I do want to crack the windows open while it's raining or even snowing, I can do that without having to worry about you know moisture getting in. There's some other ones out there that uses adhesives, but I like the WeatherTech one because it just uses tension. So when you install it, there's no tape, double-sided tape whatsoever. Install is fairly easy and you just kind of slide it in and it holds into place because the tension of it just kind of spreads out into the window sides. The third one is the grab handles. I got it because of the fact that I didn't want to grab that over here and grab my Garmin over here in inReach. So I'm able to just grab here and I am planning on lifting the truck as well as getting uh, much bigger tires on there. So of course, it's, since it's going to be elevated, I do want to be able to grab this to get in and out of the vehicle. The fourth mod is this dash mount system. Now before I did have the, or I do have the bullet point mount mounting system over there. As you can see down this way. Now that was great and all, but the issue with that is um, I can only mount a couple of things. So I, as you can see, I mounted the two GoPros and then there's two mounts for phones and that was pretty much it but i got a couple of other things that i wanted to be able to mount in the vehicle on the dash so anvil overland in perfect timing sent me this dash mount which mounts into the grab handle pre-existing bolt-on location as you can see it's an aluminum bar and they did have one that matches the red color here i'm not particularly like super fond of red but since it does come with the rubicon i figured i can get a matching a uh, red bar but as you can see it mounted the ram ball mount there got my garmin in reach got my phone mount and then i mounted my gmrs radio i'll go more into that in just a second as you can see i mounted my ipad ram ball mount as well and of course as you saw earlier i'm using utilizing the ipad for uh, my onyx app i can also use apple carplay to broadcast the onyx on my in dash monitor but the ipad is much bigger this is an 11 inch monitor so i can also have a bigger view of the map on there as well and then of course i got an extra mount for another gopro cool thing about this is this is modular so i can have these mounts all along this bar so if i want to do it more on the driver's side i can or on the passenger side i can as well fifth mod is the GMRS radio. So I got the Midland MXC 575. The cool thing about the 575 is the fact that all the controls are on the handheld mic, so it's not on the module. So I can hide the module, which I did. So I have it wired down to the side. It's kind of hard to show you, but as you can see, I mounted the mic down here and then the wire, I have it going through behind there. And it goes to the other side. And as you can see, the wire comes out through there. And I have it, oh, let me see if I can brighten this up. So I have the wire coming through here, tucked in, and I have the module underneath the seat down there. And then of course I hardwired the mic into the battery on board. And I did get the antenna as well. This is the ghost antenna. So it's a very low profile antenna. It has a NOAA weather radio, which I've been using here and there. For me, it's GMRS becoming more popular compared to like CB or ham. And it is not as common, especially if you're just getting into overlanding and trying to use comms. On my Ram, I have my handheld GMRS radio. And like I said, I like GMRS better because CB radio is good, but for me, I had a handheld CB radio and 
a lot of the people I go with didn't really have CB radios. Ham radio, it does, you do go through more steps in trying to attain a ham radio, and some people do have ham radios, but uh, not as many people. Whereas GMRS, you do need to get permits for it and you need to get licensed for it, but the license is only like 50 bucks and all you have to do is just register. You don't have to go take a, a test or anything like that. So it's easy to acquire and the majority of people I have gone on trails with do have GMRS. So definitely, if, uh, if it was up to me, if I was to choose one of the three, I would choose GMRS. So as I mentioned earlier, we're on this beautiful campsite. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the sound of the running water is so nice and peaceful. But for the time being, I'm just gonna hang out and chill. I don't get any reception out here, but I do have the Garmin in reach, so I'm gonna transmit uh, a text to Katie letting her know where I am and that I'm safe. Today was a relative success. I found a campsite that I can come back to in the winter time, tested out the most recent mods on the Jeep, and got to share with you awesome updates. As mentioned earlier, the best way you can support my channel is to comment, like, and subscribe, but being a Patreon is also a very impactful way to support my work, as well as having its own benefits for you. In the meantime, I look forward to creating content which I hope you will find entertaining or valuable. There are still many plans for Shadow and Dusty in the near future, so I hope you will stick around and join me on this journey. But with that said, as always, be safe, take care, and I'll see you next time.